My name is uh, Anouk Reinders. I'm the CCO of Record Industry. Record Industry is, I think, among the 10 biggest record pressing plants in the world. So um, when it comes to the world production of vinyl, we are a key player. What makes us different from the other pressing plants is um, the fact we do vinyl only and we have everything in-house, even our recording studio. We make our own DMMs. Our average uh, production is about 40,000 records per day. So we press and pack about 40,000 records that can be raised till 60,000 even. And um, we press about 9 million records a year. Uh, we have, uh, as mentioned before, the local bands we press records for, but we also press records for Pink Floyd, for instance, and Neil Young. My name is uh, Dennis Borst and I'm the manager of the technical department here at Record Industry. The major step in uh, making a record is uh, starting with uh, granulate. Granulate is uh, heated up by an extruder and this uh, extruder makes a vinyl puck. This puck uh, has a temperature of something about uh, 117 degrees and that is placed in the machine. In the machine is already the sample with uh, the negative of the music. The puck is uh, inserted together with uh, the labels and then press closes. After uh, a cooling period, the press opens and you have a record. But on that record, there is still a flash. This flash has to be cut off and this uh, flash will be granulated by a granulator from uh, Warner and that material is immediately reused in uh, the process for the next puck. At the moment we have 36 uh, presses and most of them, I think about 22, are uh, combined with a Warner granulator. When we start up the machine, the first part uh, to be made by the extruder will be removed because there can really be uh, hard pieces of material in, so it's not completely uh, fluid. So therefore we remove mostly one or two parts and they go to uh, our recycling department. We had always the idea, okay, we want to do more with the color material because the amount of record pressed in color was uh, increasing and it's uh, a waste to see uh, good material go away. We contacted our uh, Dutch uh, representative of uh, Warner, Thiele & Cor, with the question, okay, we have now the smaller uh, grinders from, uh, from Warner and are they also able to do the whole product, so complete records, uh, the perks and everything. And they teamed up with, uh, with Weimar to get to a complete solution. All the, all the waste material uh, is collected in our material department. The material is put on by hand on uh, the conveyor belt and the conveyor belt brings uh, the material into the Weimar machine makes the material uh, to uh, smaller pieces, something like a maximum of uh, 40 millimeters. Then it will be uh, transferred to a conveyor belt uh, equipped with a metal detection uh, unit in it, just to be sure that uh, there is no uh, metal going uh, further into the process. That material will be brought into the Bonner mill and this granulates it to approximately 4 millimeters and then it's uh, blown into a big bag. But the nicest part of the installation is you fill it up and then you can start the machine and you can run away. And uh, at the end, the machine is empty and your big bag is filled with granulate to reuse. We, uh, with the record industry, are uh, very happy with uh, the combination of the, the Weimar machine uh, with uh, the Warner uh, granulator. They're working all together very super and giving us a really nice end result. Uh, this is the result of the first uh, granulate made with our new grinding machine and it's a nice outcome and really surprising which is also what our customer likes. So not only sustainable because we reuse now waste we couldn't reuse before but it's also a surprise what you get.